Well, it is uh, 731 on a Thursday morning. We got Gene Brister in the studio. Good morning, Gene. You, uh, you got me. We got you. Yes. Didn't have you yesterday, though. No, I uh, didn't make it yesterday. Missing in action. Yep. An MIA. But we got you here today uh, for a little while, anyway. Uh, for a little bit, yeah. But, uh, enough to uh, to knock out the news. There you go. That's all we need. Uh, we're going to check in with the NCAA right now. How about that? That sounds like a plan. Now, a tournament flashback. The eventual 2019 champions, Virginia, had to survive a tough 12 seed Oregon in the Sweet 16. Rome catching his breath as he holds the ball 35 feet from the basket. Over to Kihei Clark, the point guard on the high right wing. Gives it over to Jerome. He'll take a deep three on the way and good from five feet behind the arc on the right wing. Virginia's up 48-45. The Cavaliers won the game 53-49, leading to close games against Purdue, Auburn, and Texas Tech before raising the title trophy. Lowe's Pro Bonus Days are back with five days of pro-grade deals to help you save big, now through Friday, March 27th. Check out DeWalt's new lineup of 20-volt Max XR tools featuring Power Detect. And during Pro Bonus Days, save $100 on a DeWalt 20-volt Max XR with Power Detect brushless cordless drill and impact driver combo kit now just $299. Do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. Tool offer valid through 4-1. U.S. only while supplies last. And we're ready to take a look at the birthday. You ready for the birthdays, Gene, the big shot people? Uh, I'm as ready as I'm going to get. It's the people you might actually have heard of. Uh, March 26th, the birthdays uh, today, Alan Arkin. You heard of him. I, I have heard of Alan, yes. Alan Arkin is 86 years old today. Uh, James Kahn is 80 years old today. Diana Ross, we all heard of her. She's 76 today. Uh, Johnny Crawford, he was the uh, the little kid on Rifleman. Rifleman. Not, not such a little kid anymore. He's 74. Singer uh, Stephen Tyler of Aerosmith is 72. Uh, Vicki Lawrence uh, of uh, the uh, Carol Burnett Show, and she had she had a hit of her own. She is 71. Ernest Thomas of Everybody Hates Chris. Oh, and what's happening? He's 71. Martin Short, a funny guy, he's 70 years old today. Ronnie McDowell, 70 years old. Talk show host Lisa Gibbons is 63. Actress Jennifer Grey is 60 today. Eric Allen Kramer of the Hughleys, uh, 58 today. Singer uh, Kenny Chesney, cowboy guy, he's uh, 52. T.R. Knight of Grey's Anatomy at 47. Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan, she's 40 years old today. And actress Kira Knightley, she's the baby, she is 35 today. Happy birthday to all of them, uh, though they don't know any of them. Uh, we've got the local people, people we may actually know, coming up next. KXOAM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. Happy birthdays this morning going out to Adela Reyes, Anita Slobig, Charlie Levesba, Charlie Lineses, uh, Jerry Lita, Joseph Rodriguez, Kent Sire, Christian Ibarra, Marjo Mello, Miguel Sanchez, Sandra Mandujano, Susanna Favila, Vanessa Sotelo, Vicky Trejo, Alisa Lancaster, Peter Pena, and Juanita Ahumada. Happy birthday to each and every one. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. 
And we are ready for the Award California News headlines. Brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales and service, call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News special report. The numbers were as bad as expected. Business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Weekly jobless claims surged by 3.28 million. That is the highest number on record. Both P.J. Johnson and his wife have been laid off from their jobs in Milwaukee. We, unlike other people, are like a little more prepared. But I feel bad for a lot of my friends who don't do that and like can't do that and really do have to do a paycheck to paycheck. They and others should get help quickly after the Senate passed a coronavirus relief package that includes increased unemployment benefits. The House votes tomorrow. Dr. Colleen Smith at Elmhurst Hospital in Queens, New York says she needs more help treating patients in this New York Times video. I don't have the support that I need and even just the materials that I need physically to take care of my patients. CBS News Special Report. I'm Peter King. Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Pure certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details. 760-353-4501. Lock Air Conditioning and protect the things you care about about contractors license number 696216 california headline news the u.s senate wednesday night unanimously passing that two trillion dollar economic stimulus package it now goes to the house california congressman ami barrett saying one of its major provisions helps doctors and first responders we've allocated a hundred billion dollars to our hospitals community health centers frontline providers testing equipment, protective equipment. We've got to make sure our hospitals, which are taking a big financial hit right now, have the ability and the resources to weather this storm. Maris is also a focus on protecting small businesses, including both employers and employees. Before the statewide stay-at-home order was issued, San Francisco implemented its own shelter-in-place edict. Mayor London Breed says it's working. We know uh, that the early steps we took to not only be prepared, but also to ask people to stay at home has definitely had an impact. Over a million Californians have filed for unemployment. This coming as many businesses have had to shut down because of the statewide stay-at-home order. Jeff Scott, California News. And the World California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. For your air conditioning and sheet metal needs, call Lock Air Conditioning today, 760-353-4501. AM 1230 and the Westwood One Radio Network presents NCAA Classic Basketball. Great games from NCAA California. tournament history. The series includes the classic 1979 matchup between Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. TCU versus Georgetown. The 1983 championship game between North Carolina State and Houston. Some of the greatest games in NCAA men's basketball tournament history on AM 1230. NCAA Classic Basketball is brought to you by Imperial Trust and Lumber in Imperial with hardware supplies for the contractor or the do-it-yourselfer. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in El Centro and Brawley. H&R Block, the professional tax preparers. And Liberty Motorsports, 1999 Arizona Avenue in Yuma. And it's page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley, in Brawley at Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and in El Centro on Imperial Avenue, right next to Food for Less. With page one of the local news, here's Gene Brister. Taking a look at the latest in local news, here is a local update on the coronavirus. The uh, numbers are from the Imperial... County Public Health Department, according to the latest report, 95 residents have tested for the virus. 56 of those tests came back negative. 30 are pending results. Nine have come back positive. For information on COVID-19, call the uh, COVID-19 information line at 442-265-6700 Monday through Sunday from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife has awarded money uh, from the 2020 uh, Proposition 1 program 
More than $321,000 has been awarded to River Partners for the Alamo and New Rivers Riparian uh, Habitat Restoration Planning and Permitting Project. According to their website, River Partners connects a bold vision of bringing life back to the rivers with the hard, detailed uh, work of rebuilding wild places, creating homes for wildlife, and improving our landscapes for the benefit of future generations. Since 1998, River Partners has channeled $125 million towards restoration of 12,000 woodland acres throughout California. KXO News Time, 741. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the Valley on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro and in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick Lane services all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. They're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 6 p.m., Saturdays, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. And Quick Lane has the best prices on name brand tires, guaranteed. Just ask your Quick Quick Lane Advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. In other local news, McGee Park uh, in El Centro is in the news. Here is that story with George Gale. It will be getting a facelift. The city of El Centro received funds to improve McGee Park. Project funds are from uh, the uh, Community Development Block Grant in the amount of $591,335. The park project is at 375 South 1st Street in El Centro and will consist of demolition work and construction of a new restroom and snack bar. During the course of the construction, playground will remain open during the normal business hours. Soccer fields, basketball courts, and the area of the restrooms and snack bar, however, will be closed to the public during construction. It's estimated construction will be complete in June of this year. For KXL Local News... I'm George Gale. A report of a possible sinkhole led authorities to a cross-border tunnel near San Luis. Contractors working on the border wall project had been moving soil in the area when they uncovered plywood and boards. The lumber was later determined to be possible tunnel shoring. Further evacuation uh, of the, or, excuse me, e evacuation uh, of the site west of the San Luis Port of Entry led to an incomplete cross-border tunnel that was 8 to 12 feet below the surface. Yuma Sector Border Patrol agents, along with special agents of Homeland Security Investigations, coordinated with Mexican authorities and military and located the entrance to the tunnel in the San Luis Rio Colorado, Sonora, Mexico, approximately 10 to 12 feet south of the original hole. Law enforcement on both sides of the border are continuing to investigate the tunnel. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the local news has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in El Centro on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less and in Brawley on Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick Lane services all makes and models and you will never need an appointment. We are counting down to Easter, and I have a great idea. When it comes to Easter candy, head to the Peanut Patch in Yuma. The Peanut Patch is open Monday through Saturday, and they carry many homemade chocolates. They also make their own fresh English toffee, plain or covered in milk chocolate. Pecan turtles made from a special recipe from scratch. They've got it all at the Peanut Patch in Yuma. Well, you're going to find a beautiful store, great people that are smiling and are going to help you. And don't forget, fudge? Oh, boy, do they have fudge. 80-plus handmade melt-in-your-mouth flavors of fudge. Check out the Peanut Patch in Yuma. You can Google the Peanut Patch in Yuma and uh, visit them, thepeanutpatch.com. Visit the Peanut Patch in Yuma and get ready for Easter. And it's page two of the local news, uh, brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life and health insurance needs or retirement planning. With page two of the local news, here again is Gene. 
The California Highway Patrol is taking precautions, George Gale explains. They are effective immediately. California Highway Patrol's El Centro sector office will be closing the front lobby until further notice due to COVID-19 health precautions. The uh, CHP says they will continue to provide the highest level of safety, service, and security to the public. If you need a vehicle release, citation sign-off, or need to obtain a traffic collision report, call 760-312-1800, and they'll be happy to help out. Yeah, for an emergency, continue to call 911. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. Yuma County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to a report of a shooting early Wednesday. The incident uh, occurred shortly after midnight when the report of shots fired was received from the 12,500 block of East Brenda Drive. An argument between two pe people escalated to a point where a shot was fired. The victim ran from the scene and sought shelter at a nearby residence. The suspected shooter, Stephen Singh of Yuma, was detained and later booked into Yuma County Detention Center for attempted homicide. The victim was found to have suffered a single gunshot wound, was taken to Yuma Regional Medical Center, and is said to be in stable condition. A fatal injury incident is in the news this morning. Here's more on that story. It appears to have been an accident. Investigators say 65-year-old Jose Guadalupe Jaime of Calexico was operating a farm tractor late last week. It was in a field off McCabe Road, about a half mile east of Highway 7. Tractor somehow rolled, ejecting Jaime and landing in the ditch on its roof, pinning the 65-year-old underneath. Emergency personnel responded to the 911 call. Paramedics pronounced the man dead at the scene. Officials say there were no signs of foul play. Autopsy will be conducted to determine the exact cause of death. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. There will be a blood drive today. Blood donation centers throughout the U.S. are experiencing a significant drop in donations. And that's limiting the ability of the nation's blood supply to be replenished. El Centro Regional Medical Center in the live stream will host a blood drive today. The blood mobile will be at the El Centro Regional Medical Center medical building or medical office building at 1271 Ross from 10 a.m. this morning till 3 p.m. Eligible donors are asked to drink plenty of fluids and bring a photo ID. Safe distancing will be performed during screenings and in waiting areas. George Gale will be back with a look at the weather. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-3500. That's 352-3411. The high temperature yesterday is 75 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 57. Wind gusts overnight up to 43 miles per hour. Expect sunny skies today. Highs right near 69. Windy with a west wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gusting as high as 35 miles per hour. Clear skies tonight. Overnight lows around 48. Continued windy with a west wind, 20 to 25 miles per hour. Decreasing to 50, uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 40 miles per hour. Friday, sunny skies, highs right near 72. Breezy throughout the day. West and northwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour at times. And right now, we're looking at 52 degrees, 54% the relative humidity. Page 2 of the local news has been brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplement coverage. David H. West Insurance Services.
Bo and his team of employees at Stan's Auto Body are constantly striving on giving you 100% satisfaction on getting your vehicle repaired and fixed right. Stan's Auto Body is grateful from the support that they hear for the job they're doing and being rated number one with CarWise.com. Yes, accidents are disturbing, and Stan's Auto Body is here for you to ease the pain and fix your vehicle as fast as possible. Stan's Auto Body works with all insurance companies. Give them a call or stop by 1880 West Euclid Avenue in El Centro. And in sports this morning, today would have been the uh, season premiere, the uh, first game of the season for Major League Baseball. Not happening. Uh, it has been postponed like most all other sports. No timetable on when it's going to come back. Uh, but the uh, commissioner, uh, Rob, Rob Manford, said it will be back and it will be bigger and better than ever. They're going to try and get a full season in. If not, they'll go into the playoffs uh, in November and get as many games as they can. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys uh, quarterback, Dak, Pres uh, Dak Prescott, uh, remember his uh, talks, uh, the contract talks were, were uh, stalled. Well, they, they, they've got new life. Dallas Cowboys have resumed contract talks with Prescott for the first time since the team used the exclusive franch ta franchise tag on him earlier this month. Now they're, they're talking about a new contract, but it's got to be a big one. You know it. People who are older and those who have underlying medical conditions can be at increased risk for COVID-19. If you're frequently around or are a member of one of these high-risk groups, wash your hands often and disinfect your home. Make sure you have an adequate supply of regular medications and avoid large crowds. If you do have symptoms like cough and fever, call your doctor or local health department before seeking treatment. For more information, visit covid19.ca. And New Orleans Saints coach Sean Payton said he was cleared Tuesday after he tested positive for the coronavirus last week. Says he's feeling really good and should be back to work. He's been cleared. Eric Dickerson, the Hall of Fame Rams running back, uh, he is not happy with the new Los Angeles Rams logo. Says a lot of fans are not either. Uh, he's going to speak with the Rams officials about the fans' logo concerns. SoFi Stadium uh, uh, in construction is ongoing in L.A. Uh, within safe guidelines, the uh, stadium will house the Rams and the uh, San Diego Chargers once it's finished. Directives uh, put in place at the uh, city and state levels last week allowed for the continuation of commercial construction, though it's a fluid situation. The situation is a construction worker tested positive for the coronavirus uh, working on that stadium. Stars around the globe lend support to the medical world. Uh, the, the people like uh, Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James, Pete Alonso, uh, to Stephen Curry, and a whole bunch more, Roger Federer, others, all lo uh, lending money to the medical community or their professional uh, commentary, uh, PSAs, on the coronavirus and the need uh, to uh, protect against it. The All England Club will be holding an emergency meeting to decide uh, Wimbledon's fate next week. Uh, they could very well postpone Wimbledon. Uh, it's scheduled for June 29th through July 12th. May be postponed to another date. That's it. That's a look at sports. We got the financial news and, uh, and weather coming up. Built for tough means built to last. That's why Ford F-Series are the best-selling trucks in America, and they have been for 43 years straight. It's not hard to see why. Ford F-150 has best-in-class payload, tons of smart tech, and a truckload of other claims to fame. Drive it like a Ford. Drive it today. Drive it home. Now get F-150 with 0% financing for 72 months. That's no interest for six years on the legendary F-150. Only at your Imperial Valley Ford dealers. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Based on 1977 to 2019 calendar year total sales, max payload on F-150 XL regular cab 8-foot box 5.0 liter 4x2 heavy-duty payload package. Classes full-size pickups under 8,500 pounds GVWR. See label on door jam for carrying capacity of a specific vehicle. Not all buyers will qualify for Ford credit financing. Zero for 72 months at $1,389 per month per thousand finance regardless of down payment. Excludes Raptor. Offer ends 331-2020. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. 
And in financial news, U.S. stocks in uh, U.S. stock index uh, futures briefly paired losses this morning, but were still holding sharply lower after a report on weekly jobless claims came in at a record level, reflecting the temporary closures of businesses across the nation due to the cor coronavirus outbreak. Number of Americans who applied for unemployment benefits last week rocketed to a record 3.28 million, according to the most recent report from uh, 282,000 claims in the prior week, uh, in the prior week period. Futures over the Dow Jones Industrial Average were down 217 points this morning at 1% at 20,817. For the uh, S&P 500 index, they fell 1% to 20 uh, to 2,441, while the NASDAQ 100 futures uh, at, were at 7,401. Seasonally adjusted increase in initial jobless claims from March 15th to March 21st was the largest ever, easily crushing the previous record of 695,000 uh, in 1982. Just a few weeks ago, new claims hovered in the uh, 200 thousands and stood near a 50-year low. We'll take a look at your weather in just a minute. From coast to coast, this is Goddard's Gold, right here on the Imperial Valley's AM 1230 KXO. Goddard's Gold. What's your name? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Get the gold, Goddard's Gold, Saturday, 9 p.m. to midnight, and Sunday morning, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. The high temperature yesterday, 75 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 57. Wind gusts overnight up to 43 miles per hour. National Weather Service says a weak and mostly dry low-pressure system will move through the region today into Friday. This will result in cooler temperatures and breezy to windy conditions across the region, along with a chance of showers, mainly for the higher terrain. A drying and warming trend will begin this weekend and continue through the first half of next week, with the highs approaching the upper 80s, possibly even 90 degrees by the middle of next week. Weather forecast calling for sunny skies today. Highs right near 69. Windy conditions, a west wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting as high as 35 miles per hour. Tonight, clear skies, overnight lows around 48. Windy throughout the night, west wind, 20 to 25 miles per hour, decreasing to 10 to 15 miles per hour after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 40 miles per hour. Friday, sunny skies, highs right near 72. Breezy throughout the day, west to northwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour at times. And right now, we're looking at 52 degrees, 54%, the relative humidity. Air Pollution Control District says air quality. Air quality is good throughout the region this morning. It's been that way all morning long. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. And we're coming up on 8 o'clock, CBS News at the top of the hour.
the best, best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. And your CBS News is brought to you by Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It is all here. At the tone, it'll be 8 o'clock. There it is. CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Kaith, and the government says claims for jobless benefits shot up last week, shattering records. About 3.3 million people filed as businesses shut their doors because of the coronavirus pandemic. Californian Tommy Dang lost his job as an auto mechanic. Well, it hurts, like, especially have a family pay the bills and all this. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says today's report is the tip of the iceberg. I think, unfortunately, we are going to see subsequent weeks follow on to this. This could persist for a while, especially as a lot of businesses try to take advantage of that financial lifeline that Congress is throwing out right now. That's a massive two trillion dollar aid plan. It figures to help a lot of sidelined workers and businesses and the health care system too. The Senate passed it unanimously overnight. Democratic leader Chuck Schumer. It's a historic day because it matches a historic crisis and our people need help. They were crying out to us to help. CBS's Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Next, this goes to the House, and senators tell us that once it passes there, some of this money could be put to work right away, especially those loans to small businesses that convert to grants. Banks that are already set up to do this, we're told, could turn that money around within 36 hours. On NBC's Today Show, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell acknowledged the economy may already be in recession. A report out today put growth in the fourth quarter of last year at just over two percent the u.s virus death toll now tops a thousand 13 people died in a 24-hour period at a hospital in queens new york hospitals in the city say they're falling behind with supplies as caseloads rise cbs's dr david agus says other major cities will face growing numbers of patients it is going to blossom in los angeles it is going to blossom more in san francisco we're going to see, obviously, outbreaks that follow New York in those cities. We're prepared for them now, much better than we were before. There's also been a dramatic uptick in COVID-19 cases in Louisiana, and the big Mardi Gras celebration in New Orleans may have lit the fuse on the explosion. Governor John Bell Edwards. This alarming growth has a devastatingly fast impact on our resources and the ability to take care of people. The military reports 280 coronavirus cases now, 15 service people hospitalized. Ford is making plans to reopen five North American assembly plants next month, one in Mexico first, then four in the U.S. April 14th. The Dow is up 840 points. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open an account with a savings rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A., member FDIC. According to the 2010 census, only 13% of the population was over 65. Well, I wasn't part of the 13% back then, but I am now. And with the 2020 census, my response will inform funding for things like health care, public transit, and all types of things to make 65 feel like the new 40. Yeah, okay, maybe the new 50. Shape your future. Start here. Complete the census at 2020census.gov. Paid for by U.S. Census Bureau. Let's say you just bought a house. Bad news is, you're one step closer to becoming your parents. Which means you're going to start telling your kids to clean up before the cleaning lady comes. Doesn't make sense, but you're the parents and they're the kids. You're going to start telling them that now, too. Good news is, it's easy to bundle home and auto through Progressive and save on your car insurance. And there's your opening to remind them who pays the bills around here. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Discount not available in all states or situations. Spain's death toll from the coronavirus now tops 3,400. That's more than the toll in China and second to the 7,500 deaths in Italy. Spain's government's moving to extend stay-at-home orders until April 11. 
In France... It's the first time since the Second World War that hospital patients are being transported across France by train. 20 patients on life support are on the specially kitted out high-speed TGV train. It's evacuating them from Strasbourg in eastern France to hospitals in the Loire region and Brittany in the west. The east was one of the first regions hit by the new coronavirus. Almost half of the 1,300 who have died in the pandemic were in the greater east region. Elaine Cobb, CBS News, Paris. Brazil's president called for schools and businesses in that country to reopen. Many governors are resisting that. In Mexico, one official insisted the poor are immune from the virus and the rich are at risk. Steve Kaith and CBS News. Balance of nature's fruits and veggies. Yeah, you, know, you hear the commercials and it sounds you know pretty hokey to be perfectly honest, but uh, I definitely have more energy. I don't get sleepy as early as I used to. I have fewer aches and pains. I haven't had any colds. It seems to be working, so we'll keep going with it. Right now, Balance of Nature is offering 35% off on any new preferred order. Go to balanceofnature.com and use discount code FRUITS. Do you want to learn to speak a new language but don't have enough time? Then you need to try Babbel, the language learning app that you can try for free right now at babbel.com. Babbel's lessons are just 15 minutes or less, and you can go at your own pace. You'll be amazed at how easy Babbel makes it. Start your first lesson in the language of your choice for free. Just download the Babbel app or go to Babbel.com now. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. At IVEDC, our mission is to help grow the Imperial Valley economy by aggressively marketing the valley to attract industries that create jobs and raise the local standard of living. We have had considerable success with the renewable energy industry, and due to these efforts, local businesses have benefited and jobs have been created. The Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation is continuing our efforts to grow the local economy with new businesses and new jobs. That means a better way of life for our valley. And your CBS News has been a service of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It is all here. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with George Gale. We're just trying to entertain people, and morality's just going to get in the way. AM 1230. <laughs> Where is KXO? This is an ugly candy bar, Peter Paul's Almond Cluster. It bulges from the way they stuff those almonds and crunchy stuff inside. It's so ugly, in fact, we're not going to show it to you. But don't go away, we're going to show you something. Isn't that something? Believe me, it's better than looking at our candy bar. Funny thing, ugly as it is, Almond Cluster tastes just beautiful. Why people who make such a crunchy, chocolatey candy can't fix the way it looks? I don't know, maybe we should be on our radio or something, uh, skywriting or 